One of the most common criticisms that I get in my videos is that the gender pay gap is a myth. Oh, I remember you. You got your ass handed to you by Teal Deer. Teal Deer. Are you trying to make a fool out of yourself? If so, then you're doing a pretty good job. I have voices in my head. They count for me. They understand. They in fact, in most countries around the world, it's illegal to pay men and women differently for the same job. Many of the criticisms that I get cite the Equal Pay Act of 1963 in America and the Equal Pay Act of 1970 in the UK. Yet, despite this, women still earn only 80% of what men do. Now, we all know that it's complete bullshit. The wage gap is no larger than 4%. The Concept Report, which is one of the sources I'm going to use, basically explaining the wage gap, it shows most of the factors that plays in on why there's a, quote, wage gap between the genders. Those factors include working overtime and having interruptions in your life. They have concluded that almost all of these factors play in the wage gap. Now, if sexism does in fact play a part of the wage gap, then it may not be as large as, say, 1%. So even if the wage gap is based on sexism, the fact that you are making it as big as a deal as it shouldn't makes you a big fucking liar. It's no different than a Christian scaring you into believing in God by using the you are going straight to hell tactic. It just shows that you are desperate according to the UN. So why is there still a pay gap? You may have heard the pay gap called by various different names. The wage gap, the salary gap, the earnings gap, and the pay gap. These may all sound like different words for the same thing, but there's actually quite a difference. The most important thing to realize is that wage and salary are two different ways of paying an employee resulting in differences in how much they earn. Wage-based jobs pay an hourly rate for a specific job title. Anyone with the same job title must be paid the same, resulting in no difference between male and female employees with the same title. Salary-based jobs pay an annual rate that's usually divided up into monthly payments. And salaries are not directly related to working hours. Salaries are negotiable and will differ depending on how many years an employee's been working for a company, their performance, and many other factors. Calling it a pay gap encompasses both wage wages and salaries, although it's in the salary-based jobs that the pay gap actually exists. Many critics of feminism will often refer to the pay gap as an earnings gap. The thinking is that men get paid more than women because they earn more than women. Men tend to work in more highly skilled fields and are more likely to hold management positions. So you understand what's going on. But why do I have the feeling that you're gonna pull some shit out of your ass? In fact, if you adjust the pay gap to take into account differences in responsibilities, skill levels, education, and fields of work, then the pay gap almost vanishes, as these graphs from payscale.com show. It seems that most of the pay gap isn't down to discrimination against women doing the same job as a man. So that's it, right? Problem solved. Women and men get paid the same for doing the same job. But why is it? that men have the higher paying jobs. Oh, please tell me it's not because women are being forced to play these roles. The answer is usually that women make different lifestyle choices to men. Women's role in childcare is a huge reason why they are paid less. They choose to have children and take time off from work. And when they do return, they normally have to return part-time in order to look after the kids. However, when men choose to have children, they don't experience the same consequences. Because it's not the men who's giving birth? According to the AAUW, mothers are less likely to be hired than childless women. <laughs> and when they do, are more likely to be offered a lower salary. The same is not true of fathers. This explains why the pay gap widens with age. From women earning 89% of men at ages 25 to 34, and then decreasing to 80% by the time they're 35 to 44 and have had their children. Well, maybe, but keep in mind that women tend to retire a little bit more earlier than their male counterparts. But is being a woman really a lifestyle choice? For a crossdresser or maybe even a transsexual, then maybe. It's the result of the sexist stereotype that women are supposed to stay at home and care for the children while the man goes out to work. Yet these quote-unquote gender roles that women are being forced to play a part of are observable from birth. To fix this, the Fawcett Society in the UK suggests increasing maternity and paternity pay, preventing having a child from affecting your career, and sharing the burden of childcare between both parents. Even though it's more or less a choice that women make. Fuck nature!
that. But childcare doesn't account for the difference in pay between men and women one year after graduation. This is the result of another so-called lifestyle choice. Women tend to work in lower paid industries than men. Teaching, nursing, social work, these are all considered to be traditional jobs for women. Men tend to work in banking, construction, and other generally higher paid industries. However, is this the result of a lifestyle choice or the difficulties that women face in male-dominated industries. Jesus fucking Christ, you people act like you're living in the fucking matrix and the only group of people that actually can see it are those who call themselves feminists. Women are becoming increasingly represented in these high-come industries, and increasing this representation will help to shrink the wage gap. The lack of women in management roles is also a major contribution to the pay gap. I recently wrote an article on women in science, if you want to do some further reading into a specific field. So hopefully this video explains exactly what the pay gap is. And boy, oh boy, are you wrong!